Hi there. This is Mary at the Mary Atelier. And what you are looking at is I am in my Art Weaver Free Art Digital Art program. And I created this. This is actually going to be the thumbnail splash screen for my next video. And as you can see, we are doing another event in the Creative Arts Collaboration. And the hashtag for this will be Pugist Art. And the theme is animals and all about animals. So I kind of, before I get started on what I'm going to do for this event, I wanted to take you out to my page and talk you through how you can find some of the really interesting art going on for each of these creative arts collaboration events. And you're going to see me participating in a lot of these. So we are using hashtags. And if you are viewing your videos out on YouTube, if you go to the search engine right up here, here you put in hashtag Pogist Art. And that's the pound sign P-A-W, P-A-W for paw, that would be an animal paw, and then gust, G-U-S-T, because this is the middle of August, so it's pogust, and then we added art onto that and made a hashtag pogust art. So if you do a search for that, you will see this is the first day of the event. It's going to be 20, 21, and 22, August 21st, 20th, 21st, and 22nd, you will see that there are already some Pogist videos out there. Here's one by Ann Williamson. Uh, she's creating a mixed media piece for a, an owl. She's doing it in different parts. Write down this hashtag hashtag, which is their pound sign, hashtag Pogist Art. Write that down on a piece of paper if you can't remember it. And then when you go out and view your videos on YouTube, type in Pogist Art and see some of the really interesting videos, animal-themed art going on for Pogist Art. Now I want to go back and talk about what I'm going to do. And you can already get the hint. I'm in my digital art program. I'm gonna do some digital art. And I went out on the web. I went to Wiki Commons because that's what I do when I start something I'm, I wanna research and I wanna get some inspiration. I usually go to Wiki Commons because I know those images are free or they're uh, royalty free. You're usually free to use them. Now I googled Wiki Commons animal traps because that's what I'm going to do. And of course you get all these these images of tracks in snow and that just fascinates me and then I read the little banner down here and make sure that they're a part of wiki comments not all of them are this one isn't so I'm pretty careful in the image that I pick this image right here is caught my interest this one did and this one did but this one really did so I clicked on it and brought it up and animal tracks in the snow so I'm going to use this as inspiration. But before I did that, I scrolled down to make sure that it is something that I can use. It, you, this, it attributes it to Peter Facey, F-A-C-E-Y. I just love the texture of this top part of this photo. And it almost has a, a diagonal dividing line by this line of trees and some little tree shrubs in the center and then it has all these little tracks in there. I'm going to show you how I'm going to draw inspiration off of this photograph to create a digital art piece in my Art Weaver program. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open a new file. I'm going to start out with a white background. 
So it's going to open a whole nother, another image. Now I'm going to use my paint brush tool here, and I have it set up already. I'm going to use, you have several choices here. I'm going to use the acrylic brush tool, and then I'm going to use this captured bristle. They give you a whole a whole range of things that you can use. I'm using the captured bristle, and I'm going to increase the size of this to way up to 250 because I want to do snow drifts. I'm just going to swoosh snow across the screen in the, that make it look by, like drifts. Now I got my opacity set to 19, and I did that because if I have my opacity opacity set way up here to 100, that will be a solid color. The lower you have your opacity, the more space and the think of it as having less pigment in your color. So I'm going to set it down to start with at 22. Over here is my color set and I am set on a gray, I think I'm going to set it on a light blue and let's see what I get here. Just see, I'm just swishing some snow across the screen. Now, don't worry about it. It looks like it almost looks like water right now, but I'm just getting some texture on the page. Just as if you were taking your paintbrush and swishing some paint. Now, I'm going to go to the white and go over that, and that will. That will just, just as if you were almost painting with a paintbrush. I really do like digital art. And I really do think that it is a valid art form. I don't think we use digital art enough. Especially when we're doing our art videos. We tend to want to play with the paper and the paint. and But it's nice to have. It's nice to, I call it painting with light. Now I'm going to go back to my inspiration photo here, and I'm going to put in some grays. I'm not sure that I'm going to mimic this line. I might. We'll see. Let's go back to my Art Weaver program, and let's choose some. Really, the grays, I kind of want them for the background, or for the tracks, but I'm just going to put in some just to, maybe I will mimic that line, just to get it. A diagonal line across there. Now I don't really like all of this so I'm going to put in some white again and this will just soften it up again. I'm just I'm just putting in some snow like it, this is it snowed last night. Now why am I doing snow in August? Well <laughs> to tell you the truth I don't care for me it doesn't matter whether it's August or September or um, what month it is, I'm working more off of the theme and what's inspiring me. And what is inspiring me is animal tracks. And we typically see animal tracks in the snow. We might see them in wet mud. You might see them in sand if you're on a beach. Any place where a little animal that was walking by left his little footprints. Well, let's just say, think about the trackers and who, the hunters and the trackers out in the fields where they know, and, and like the Indians and in the Old West days, I mean, they knew those animals by, by their tracks. It almost looks like a soft sky, doesn't it? But I do like that. Well, I think I need a little bit more gray in here. Let's go back to my inspiration photo. See, that's kind of got some grays in there. I don't think, know if I want mine totally gray, though, but I, th I think I would just want to put in some grays. Let's just kind of... One thing about digital art is you can easily erase it. Now, I'm liking this, so I'm not really going to erase it. But let's just put in a great big blob here and say, Oh, what did you do, Mary? Well, I can just hit my... Control Z key and take it away. Now it's not that easy when you're doing paint. You either got to paint over it or gesso over it or or convert it into something else. That is one thing that I really do like about digital art. Digital art is fun for planning too. And if you look back at my inspiration photo, look at that how it's white. This is really dark, isn't it? 
I'm not sure that I want it exactly that dark, but let's just go ahead for now. And you know, I can always either spray over it or do something with it. Let's let's put in some blue here. Let's put in. This might take me a little bit more time than I thought it would, but. Just kind of little trails is what they are. Little trails across the screen. And let's see. I think I want to go to larger animal tracks. Let's see what I can do here. I think I like the idea of putting large animal tracks on my screen. For one thing, you can see them. And I have no idea what kind of an animal this is. This is an imaginary animal walking across my painting. <laughs> it could be your kitty cat, maybe. I don't know if a kitty cat would have those kind of tracks, but this is, this is Mary's imaginary animal walking across a snowdrift. <laughs> But what I like about it is it says a creature was here, some other little living form. You know, I kind of like it just like that. Now that may not look like much to you. Let's see, let's play with darkening it. Let's go up here to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. And let's make it darker. Let's make it way darker. That's too dark. Image and contrast. Let's bring it out a little bit more. I kind of like that. I do like it. Let's put some more tracks in. I'm going to leave it like it is though because, because I like it. If I were doing a painting, I might put an animal across there. In fact, in fact, let's go back out to Wiki Commons. I was looking at foxes. Wiki Commons. Thought I saw this Arctic fox. Let's see what this is. This is how I create sometimes. Oh, I like that. I like that. To make sure that it is. Copyright holder of this work hereby publish it under the following license. Permission is granted to copy, distribute, and modify this document under the terms of the GNU free documentation license. Let's just go out here and let's copy this image. Let's save the image as. And I'm going to save it in my file here where I am doing my August art. Right here. Save. Down here it's telling me that it's saved it. I'm going to back out to my Art Weaver program. And I'm going to open that file that I just saved off of Wiki. Here he is right there. I'm going to open him. And I'm going to change this image size. I'm making this image size a little bit smaller because I want to put him on my background. So let's make him 1442 just to see what will happen. I just picked a number. Yeah, I think that's good. I think I'll take paint pan and see if I can, what will happen if I paint. Oh, yes. All right, now let's take my lasso and cut him out. See what you can do with digital art? Just think of what you're doing now as maybe collaging a magazine picture onto your background. So I'm going to edit and copy it. I'm going to go back to my background, which was right here, edit and paste. Oh, I like that a lot. As much as I like it, let's do... Let's let's do a pack of them. Let's move him up here. 
Let's do another one. Edit and paste. Let's make two or three of them. Let's just to make them, you know that diagonal line of trees that we saw? Oh, look. Look. Look back here. Here, this diagonal line of trees. Look at this is mimicking the diagonal line of trees. I think I'll take and move him up a little, though, like this. Like this. Yeah, maybe up a little. Yeah. And let's put another one on there. Edit and paste. And then I'm going to move him down here. Oh, yeah. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Let's move him down like this. Let's see if I can't move this one up a little like that. I like that a lot. Now I'm going to come in again with my paintbrush and kind of smooth out this area in here. Let's layer it. I'm going to merge visible. Let's see if it'll let me paint over it now. Yeah. I'm just kind of softening those hard lines in there. I like that. And I kind of have my tracks down in here, and it kind of looks like they're after, they're tracking. <laughs> now there's a lot that you could do with this. I think that, I think I'm going to go back here and make these tracks just a little bit more obvious. I'm painting over these to make them a darker color. And let's put another one in here. Now, these are have my blacks, but do you know what? I almost want them a dark gray blue. Let's see what will happen. Let's save this. File, save as, we're going to save it as a JPEG. Let's save it as a JPEG, and let's save it as, not the splash, let's save it as, animal tracks, animal, fox, fox, track, fox, animal tracks, <laughs> and I have no idea what a fox animal track looks like, but and since I'm not saving, I can put this at high quality as a hundred percent, and I'm just going to save that, and then I want to go in here and maybe that's too light. Let's undo that. Let's go here maybe. We want a dark color. Ooh, I'm liking that, but I want it darker yet. Let's make it really dark. Probably get to the black. Kind of like that. Oh, let's open a new one. This is how I play. Edit, paste. I want to do a different cut of this. I don't want so much of that white. Yeah. Edit. Copy. Now let's go back here. Edit. Paste. Now I'm going to move him around a little. See, I think, oh, like that, and then another one in here, and I want to cut just the head.
digital art is really fascinating because you're playing not only with colors and lights and shapes and you're getting used to a program let's go back over to this one and copy edit copy I just want to do the head over here edit paste and then I can move this head I think I wanted to move it right in here I think I'm liking that I could almost do another one in here you're getting those shapes let's do another one edit paste and let's put him in here now this is not the, exactly the same as that diagonal line but I, I sort of have a diagonal line of foxes going that way and I like that and then I have the tracks kind of my little tracks coming in here now layer let's merge visible get everything down and I want to come back in with my pen and I just want to soften up some of these white lines in here by just putting some strokes, some paint strokes in there. I'm going off of the page. And who knows? I mean, these are, these are tracks of some sort. <laughs> but this is my inspired animal art. This was what I wanted to, just wanted to play with my digital program there yeah now I got these little blotches in here I think I'm gonna leave it whoops gonna get something interesting happening here because I hit my cursor key and it's see it it's spinning here so it's oh do I like that I almost like that let's save this file save as the O2 for version O2. I do like that. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And I'm going to make it a high quality one. This is the things that you can do with digital art. Now that doesn't give me the snow. But I like the effect. Now I'm going to go back here and say this one as version 01 and I'm going to call it quits because I've been chattering and I've gone way past my time. I'm going to upload this video. It'll be a fairly long video. I never mean for them to go long but they do. Pog to start. Don't forget to go out to the YouTube screen, put in hashtag PogusArt and look at the, some of the fun videos that are going on. You want to look for PogusArt in the title. I guarantee you, you'll see some interesting things happening out there. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next page.